Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to choose wrench sizes. So you tried a half inch wrench and it was too small. Should you try a 5 eighths or a 7 sixteenths? Well, one half would be 4 eighths. So 5 eighths is larger than that. 7 sixteenths, well, one half would be 8 sixteenths. So half of 16 is 8, half of 8 is 4, and so 7 sixteenths would be smaller, so you would choose the 5 eighths. You tried a quarter inch wrench, and it was too small. Should you try a 3 eighths or a 3 sixteenths? Well, 1 quarter, if I multiply that by 2 halves, that would be 2 eighths. So 3 eighths is larger. Let's look at 3 sixteenths. Let's convert 1 quarter, uh, 2 eighths to uh, um, sixteenths. So I multiply by 2 over 2. That becomes 4 sixteenths. So 3 sixteenths is, is smaller, and so we won't choose that one. You tried a 3 eighths inch wrench, and it was too small. Should you try 5 sixteenths or a 1 half? Well, 3 eighths. Is equal to if I multiply by two halves, that's just one, so that would be six sixteenths. So five sixteenths is smaller, so that one's not going to work. Half inch, well, a half, if I multiply that by four fourths, that's going to be four eighths. Well, four eighths compared to three eighths. It's larger, if I compare those two. So half inch is larger. Let's try that one. Until you get used to it, you may need to convert uh, wrench sizes to the same denominator to compare them.